Here I am today with the uh, mom look of 2019. Okay. <laughs> glasses. Should I take the glasses off? Does it like add to the look? I don't know. I'm on. Okay, good, because I can actually see when they're on. <laughs> Okay. What up guys, my name is Ari. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I was like trying to snap. Um, I'm coming to you today with a new video, Vlogmas Day 3. <sighs> Very rotund and out of breath because I'm 23 weeks pregnant, so. Although I feel like I'm like more because I'm so round, like, can y'all see? I'm like so, I'm like very round at this point. But anyway, this is not the point of this video. Before we get into this video though, if you'd like to subscribe or like or notify yourself when another video comes on tomorrow, do that and press those red slash gray buttons down there. I'm gonna fast forward now. So in today's video, we are doing the holiday gift guide part two. And honestly, this is just like stuff that I know I have friends that use because I recommended it. And then I also use, I was gonna say holy religiously. What? I use, I use them religiously throughout just like my regimen and then my uh, daughter's hair care regimen. And then also my sister, whenever she felt like using them. Without further ado, shall we? I don't know why I'm doing all of this, but let's just go. Just. So, you know, this is not a sponsored video. These are actual products that I use myself that I thought might be cool to share. Obviously, this is why I'm here. And if you want to, um, if you can't, if you don't, if you miss it, all the names and uh, all the names of these products are in the description. We are gonna break this down into products, accessories, and tools because I'm pretty sure if you know anyone in your life that's into hair, all three of these should cover at least one gift that you can get this person. So let's start off with products. The sound effect that I just imagined there was like, bring, you know, like the glittery, whatever. Shea Moisture obviously is one that's known for natural hair care. They like one of the big name brands in this space. Um, Myel Organics, if you see that hot pink label on the brown bottle or the clear bottle, it's kind of shiny sometimes. They're bomb as well. And I've also gotten into the Kinky Curly brand, um, mainly because my daughter has a different hair porosity than I do. So the products that I use on my hair do not, not work on her hair, which is a little annoying <laughs> because that means we have to have like double the products and two different hair care wash day regimens. So, but it's okay, I've, I've... A couple of products in those brands in particular, the Kinky Curly Come Clean Shampoo, so good. If you have low porosity hair, try that girl because it's protein free and it makes sure it like really cleanses your scalp but it doesn't like strip your hair of its natural oils. Try that. It's good for you. I'm a fan of the Myel brand in general. I actually use, excuse me, hey, the pomegranate and honey, I think that's the one. I could be wrong. I'm gonna use a picture right here. But that one, I use all the time on my hair. It's lightweight, it's very moisturizing, and it smells like Jesus himself made it, okay? It smells wonderful. Of course, if you're a natural hair person, or even if you're whatever, whatever kind of hair you have, you should be deep, deep conditioning it at some point. Also, I can't speak, obviously, <laughs> so excuse me. Say this, if you have like a neutral porosity, do your thing. If you have like high or low porosity, I'm just gonna separate the deep conditioners now. I have noticed, for my daughter at least, using the conditioner the conditioner that you wash out of your hair, just like the one that comes after the shampoo step, as a deep conditioner works for her. If I do anything thicker, it's it's not working. So if you have low porosity hair, I would just say when you wash your hair, 
and then you throw some conditioner in it, just throw a shower cap on for like 30 minutes and then go wash it out. If you have high porosity hair like me and you need lots of protein for your hair to like function normally, not be as frizzy, etc., etc., I would um, recommend the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt line. Hold on, let me read. It is called the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate Repair Protein Power Treatment with a whole bunch of other stuff. Why do they name these things? They like tell you the whole ingredient list on the front label. But let me just say, Manuka honey is just great. Even if you use the raw stuff for your hair, your skin, whatever, it's very good for you. It's very hydrating. Um, obviously, yogurt. I usually use the Palmer's brand. They have like a protein treatment as well. It's like coconut oil or something put it down there in the description. That also is really good. And they come in little like single packs. So if you wanted to do like a gift box or something, you could just grab a couple of single packs and like throw it in there with some other things for your hair care person. You know what I'm saying? Last in this category um, are hair oils, which are very, um, very essential to sealing in the moisture. If you know nothing about hair care, trust me. I know this. The one that I use for my hair is the Tropic Isle Black Castor Oil Hair Growth. Oh, it comes with a little um, twisty nozzle so you could like directly apply the oil to your scalp or you can, you know, hair, hands, apply however you do it. I love that oil um, because it's really thick. Um, that is not good for low porosity hair like what my daughter has. We use Alakay Naturals. It's the glazed argan oil silkener and it contains like eight ingredients in the on the back yeah which is actually really good for your hair it also smells like jesus made it so <laughs> yeah just keep those two in in uh mind if you wanted to give your hair care person like all the steps you know a nice little well-rounded gift box there you go i just helped you out <sighs> now if you are not willing or able to go that deep into the product area, let's go accessories, because you can't really go wrong. Or you can, it depends. So what's in right now, what's really trending in hair accessories are these little pearl clips, like one that I have in right here. They're very huge and overstated, and I've seen a lot of women wear them. I've also seen the bedazzle word ones too, like babe, or boss, or girl. You know what I'm saying. Also, temporary hair paint wax is in right now. So if you have like a teen tween who's begging to get their hair dyed and you're just not about that life, get the temporary wax. They can just like comb it through their hair and then it like washes out in however many washes. <sighs> Along with these hair clips, scrunchies are back in. Um, I know at Target they had like a eight piece scrunchie set it was like basic lux uh going out you know things like that so if your person is into scrunchies or it seems to be their style head over to target most of these things actually you can find at target that's all i can think about as far as accessories go so let's go on to tools i can't reach this thing <laughs> could have been over. I'm out of breath. Have I been talking a lot? No, it's been good. Okay. I, mean, you're making a video. I would say some of the most popular tools of 2019 have been hair blow dryers. Is that what they say? That sounded weird coming out. A couple of them ranging in tiers have been um, the Revlon hairbrush one where you kind of just brush it through your hair. That's on my list to get. I haven't gotten it yet. It's still sitting in my cart. It seems fairly easy to use and apparently it, it has um, various settings so that your dry time isn't as long so you're not drying out your hair completely. Blah, 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 blah. Sounds great. Next up is the Dyson, except that's a large jump, I think. The, Dy <laughs> the Dyson Supersonic hair blow dryer, the one where you can like almost, you can, I'm pretty sure you could put your hand through it. Um, apparently that one is amazing as well. Um, on their website, they tell us 
it's engineered for fast drying, which of course we know Dyson is known for fast drying, like even with their, um, what are those things called? They like suck up things on the floor? Vacuum, vacuum cleaners. <laughs> even with their vacuum cleaners, they're like revolutionary in that area. So I guess it only makes sense that they just keep going with the air blowing or sucking, whatever. <laughs> so apparently it has intelligent heat control um, and it's supposed to um, increase your smoothness by 75%, increase the shine up to 132% and decrease your frizz by 61%. And it's also supposed to protect your hair from extreme heat damage. This is priced at, I think, 400 bucks, which I'm sorry, I didn't really give you like a midline from the Revlon to the Dyson. <laughs> We went from like $40 to $400, my bad. Last one has been the Rev Air blow dryer. It's called the Rev Air Reverse Air Dryer. It's a multifunctional hair tool that dries the hair in the natural direction of the cuticle, all while straightening, sealing in shine and softness. So if you've seen anybody do this on Instagram or use that product on Instagram or whatever, it like it's like a, it's like suction almost. So you like put your hair in there and it doesn't blow, it like sucks your hair in there like a vacuum, almost. That one also is like $400. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a Black Friday sale or they did have a Black Friday sale or probably a Christmas sale. So you might be able to catch it cheaper. But those have just been the like the popularist hair tools. So if that falls in line with somebody you know, Another popular thing this year has been the microfiber hair drying tool. They come in like turban uh, shapes or just towels as well. Apparently microfiber doesn't break your hair like normal cotton towels do. Um, and it's also faster drying than if you used a t-shirt to dry your hair. I have been using a t-shirt since 2011, I think, because it doesn't make my hair as frizzy. So, um, in trying the microfiber towel the last time I washed my hair, my hair was like almost dry. It was like, this is damp, this is wet, wet. It was like, not so damp. If you have somebody who likes to do their edges, okay, get them a little premium edge brush, okay? You can find them in the beauty supply store, they're all over Target. Let's talk about that real quick, actually. Cantu has like rebranded like all of the normal things that we buy at the beauty supply store, like the silk scarf, the silk, the satin pillowcase. They have this like fancy edge brush now. They have like picks that are made of like premium plastic and they're selling these things for like $8. I'm like, I can get this at the beauty supply for like three. I am not an edge layer, okay? I have not practiced that at all. I have never found it my vibe to lay my edges like that. But I do enjoy watching another person lay them edges. It's very entertaining, it's very nice. Very soothing, it's very, what is that called? What's that category on, on uh, Instagram? <sighs> anyway, that's it y'all, I'm running out of breath. I don't know how much longer we could talk. Mommy. Yeah, this video has come to an end. I'm out of breath. I'm slouching a little bit more. Um, this is TMI, but my butt hurts from sitting here for so long. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, if it wasn't, oh well. Just if you liked any of the ideas or if you have any of your own ideas or suggestions that I can use as well, hit those comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and uh, send me some oxygen because I cannot breathe. Man, I'd be feeling so weak. <laughs> I'd just be sitting here like, what is going on? The sweaters aren't necessarily flattering when you're extra pregnant. They do give your belly room to breathe. Okay, we're gonna let the garbage truck pass because they're supposed to come at nine o'clock but I don't make they schedule, so. <laughs> because before the month of November and October, 
They came at like 8.30 after I dropped Ava off to school and I was like coming back home. So that's when they usually came. I feel like the trash cans get stuck on them little arms sometimes. So they'd be like, 